the big issue with data is scaling the data. So traditional technologies were never really designed to scale the whole data. So by traditional technologies, I'm talking about um, and, you know, algorithms, predictive algorithms, um, for example, SAS or SPSS, and not really designed to scale the whole data. So essentially, in order to be able to, to analyze big data and, and provide rapid insight, you have to segment the data first. And that's really very, very difficult to do. When you segment the data, and this is after it's gone into a Hadoop distribution, you have to create some rules for doing that, and often the rules can be wrong. So what we've done is we've actually created a technology called artificial precognition. This is a patented technology. We should get the patent granted actually in the summer, which actually simplifies the data by a form of artificial intelligence, which actually aggregates the data. And so we can reduce the data by, by, by a significant amount and make it usable. But one of the challenges that you have in terms of leveraging cloud technologies, what you really want to be able to do is to analyze the data and create visualizations of the data within a browser. So what we've been able to do is we've been able to create a browser scaling big data access so you can actually access the whole of the data within a browser without the need for coding or IT intervention. So there's an interesting um, it actually image, it's a picture actually, a little girl with her, with her um, Kindle Fire and um, she's able to access all these, all these resources um, on, on the web. Um, on the internet, you know, she can play games, she can she can buy, she can talk to her friends. She hasn't got a clue how, how it's done. It's like magic to her. Well, that's the kind of capability that we're building with Oscar Bayo, with our customers. So our customers are going to be decision makers. What we're doing is putting the power of analytics and big data access in the hands of business users, but without forgetting the analysts. For the analysts, there's another edition coming out that allows them to actually open up the APIs and create very sophisticated models. So what we're then doing is actually we're increasing the power and the value of, of statisticians by giving them something that's even more powerful, but enabling them really to actually um, analyze big data without having to break it down, without the, uh, the manual intensity that they need to be able to do in order to, get, to gain insight. So what's it's a general BI tool, so our, our vision really is that it's, it's the next generation of, of business analytics optimization. Okay? Um, but our first focus, and that's notwithstanding the fact that there are people coming to us from other industries, is really in personalization and micro-marketing. So this is really being able to very quickly identify segments within the data, user segments, and then being able to offer them the right products at the right time and being able to do that very quickly. So what that means for, for say, retailers um, and, maybe, and maybe banking customers is that they can quickly um, uplift their revenues by offering people the products that they really need to buy and then they're really, they're really going to be valuable to them. So what that means is instead of getting lots of phone calls or emails you know, for, for campaigns that aren't going anywhere, or there's actually a very small hit rate, you're actually maximizing the chance of selling products that people want to buy. So a lot depends how innovative you are. So the biggest challenge for us is hiring the right people because we're right at the cutting edge, okay? And the skills that we need are very, very rare. So we've had to basically trawl the world to build the team to then commercialize the products. And that's the biggest challenge. The other challenge is also managing cost. Um, so, you know, we consider ourselves a modern 21st century company, so we do have offices, but for the most part we do a combination of face-to-face -face and working in an office, but also working from home to, to minimize cost and maximize productivity. What you've got to, what you've got to do is you, you have to create the right skill set and you've got to be able to stretch into areas that you don't feel comfortable with. Um, essentially, there are two things. Firstly, you've got to think things through and make the product robust. Okay? You have to think it through, you have to test it, you have to make sure that it's something people want to buy. And then you need to be able to sell it. Because if you can't sell it, it doesn't matter how much investment you get, ultimately you're going to fail, unless obviously something bigger comes along and buys you. So the thing is, is manage your costs and get the right skills on board. Great. Um.